Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. A real pleasure to be able to Hi. speak to you today. Hi, lovely to meet you. Um, maybe we could kick off with a brief introduction to Then You Run. What can people expect when they watch it? Let's go. Kick off. It's a gripping, coming of age meets psychological thriller meets road trip meets Irish gangland all blended into this one big mix of chaos. Yeah, it's yeah. very entertaining. With a lot of comedic elements as well. Yes, yeah, dark comedy, that's what I meant exactly. to say as well. Yeah. yeah. I mean, all of those things for sure when I watched it. It just really struck me as something very refreshing to see on screen because it's kind of, yeah, we've seen maybe the four friends before going on like a summer road trip, but not then combined with kind of this, what is usually a very ultra masculine kind of gangster world, you know, a bit like in Lockstock, Two Smoking Barrels or something like that. Um, when you first read that script, what was the appeal? Oh gosh, I loved it straight away. Especially the relationship between the girls because the way that they talk to each other is just so honest and so real. It doesn't feel like they're cuddling each other all the time. It's just straight up like banter, like for example, like the in between is kind of banter that you see if anyone's watched it. <laughs> but um, yeah, like that's what really drew me towards the script because every page you'll just keep on turning because you want to know what happens next because it just keeps surprising you. So yeah. Yeah, I mean, I was just so drawn in when I first read the scripts and you, unlike what would be, it's not that common to get, like, we had three episodes or something, I think it was, when we were initially sent them, so I was so invested from it and I think I read, like, all three back to back in one sitting, so that was a real indicator to me of just how good it was to read, like, that on the page. I just, it was just so, it was so well written, there's nothing superfluous in it at all, like, it's so, like, quick pace and everything. Yeah, I loved it. I think especially the fact that the different genres in it it's so smooth. Mm -hmm. You would think, oh, how are we going to put yeah. this all together, especially with the traveller and the Irish yeah. gang and the girls, how are we going to make it connect? Yeah. But it's it was seamless. seamless. Yeah. yeah. And when those stories eventually all catch up with each other, it's very juicy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in terms of each of your characters, maybe you could just say a bit about how, how you saw each of them and, and how you kind of prepared to play them, because they, they all feel so lived in, and particularly the relationships between them. And I know there was the book that it was originally based on, so I don't know if you returned to that, or it was on the script, or, or if you had some time together, you know, to kind of bounce off each other to develop each of your, your different characters. It was really a mix of everything you just said. I think, again, the scripts where we had so much time actually before filming, which was great to just reread, reread that material and just absorb everything about it and so I read the book just like out of curiosity because there is like some overlap and kind of picked and choose like different pieces that I thought were relevant to Tara and relevant um, to the world and again just spending time with each other obviously the four girls are the core of that show and really lucky that we have a real friendship between the four of us so that was so imperative to what you see on the screen and that real chemistry there so yeah it was a big mix. Mm. Okay. With Ruth um she was just written on the page. That's how easy it was. Like, um, Ben did such a great job that it was so easy to just figure out how she's going to work. She's such a normal South East London girl with a... <laughs> with a situation where I've seen these girls before and I know I know a Ruth personally in that way, so it was quite easy to copy and make it my own and add my personality in it as well to just add that little freshness. So, mm. yeah. Yeah, and the, and the characters all feel so kind of relatable and real, but then it's quite funny to see them sort of like just dropped into these really kind of like heightened situations, you know, and don't expect to see them in. So what was it like being on that shoot? I mean, all these different locations across Europe, some of these epic scenes that you had to pull off. Um, what were some of the highlights and challenges along the way? It was really fun. I think one of the highlights was going to Cologne and they had built kind of basically like a race track, like out kind of in like the middle of nowhere, like in the sticks in Cologne. And we actually got to see in real time because we were filming um, a brief sequence ourselves that day and we got to see in real time with all of the crew, like this big, huge stunt with these cars, which I won't give away what it is, but it was amazing to actually get to watch and see it all happen um, with, the, with the amazing stunt drivers and stuff. So that was really cool to see that play out. It was it was just great traveling around, especially the fact that every scene that we had to do was just going to be something exciting and fun. Um, in the different locations that we have, I mean, my one of my best locations, best I, I would say I had most fun on the side of the roads, the highways, because it felt like you was really there, you was mm. on set, you was in the world, or then you run. To be honest, so yeah, it was a great time. 
And I think a key part of kind of the this shift in tone, sort of like always landing, is the humour, often really dark humour. Exactly. And I was just wondering if you had kind of a favourite line, I mean, particularly the banter between the girls, you know, it's often quite like caustic, you know, that kind of female friendship where it's a bit love-hate. But there was a very funny line, I thought, you know, where it's like, oh, we should have gone to Zanti. And it's just kind of the way that lands, you know, should, should we be horrified or should we laugh? Um, did you have a favourite line? I love the scene between um, you and Viv when you're like fighting over it. when scene. you're like fighting over the drugs. It's just so <laughs> funny and like and Viv's like, well, if I said I've got big bags of cocaine, so I wouldn't. I would sound like I wouldn't know what I'm doing. You're yeah. like, but you, you don't, don't know, know what, what you're, you're doing. doing. <laughs> Sorry, you're actually an idiot. So yeah. It's just I love that. I would say that literally. It's I was the funny. same line that I was thinking of. Yeah, that just cracks me up. I love that. Just scene. going back and forth because it literally yeah. feels like two sisters yeah. arguing yeah. at the same time. And Izzy's bit when you're coming into the house about um, the pedophiles. Yeah. Yep. That's, that's very funny. That was good. That's like, a good oh, you won't be interested in us because we're 18 and you're like, shut <laughs> up, Nessie. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, those are the moments. Oh, I love all your banter. It's great. And in terms of what people can take away from watching it, I mean, it is just one of those edgy seat thrillers. You really don't know what's coming next, mm. all the twists and turns. But it also does feel kind of important, at least as we said at the beginning, refreshing to see these kind of slightly messy female characters leading a big show like this. Mm -hmm. um, so do you think that's something important? And we're kind of seeing more of that, as particularly with like different platforms, we're kind of opening up space for different kind of characters and different kind of people. So important. Like, you know, the teenage love stories and stuff, they've been done so often and, you know, some many of them are so great but I love that these women really they're not they're not with boys and all the time it's not about that it's about their bond their friendship and it's also about them discovering themselves kind of under this highest stakes imaginable in mm. these extreme circumstances and they really have to step up and grow in such a big way and they're so they're each so powerful in their own way and I think seeing four young women portrayed on screen like that is really unique and I think it's really important yeah with them being individuals, it's very mm -hmm. interesting to see how they react individually to each madness that goes on because it's like with Ruth she's like no we can't do this but then she still goes along so she mm -hmm. goes there I mean I don't want to spoil it but yeah. with the group it's almost like you're like how many things is gonna happen mm -hmm. until they break apart yeah so it's almost like it's a like test female friendship. friendship is like it's unbreakable yeah, yeah. it's like are they ride or dies or yeah. will they give up on each other mm -hmm. in the end <laughs> and just very quickly I was mentioning to the other girls about I really loved like the style of each of the individual girls and just felt very British very like London I was just wondering how much, like, did you get to have a bit of say in that? Were you collaborating with, with the costume department? And, yeah, and... we were collaborating with Ruka Johnson on that. She's absolutely amazing. And yeah, like, yeah, we were, we were the, that's, we had a month out there prior yeah. to when we were started filming. So we were trying different bits and stuff. Uh, yeah, so she was, she was brilliant. And uh, yeah, the looks are really good. Mm, yeah. Um, well, I'm out of time. Thank you so much for sharing all that with <laughs> Thank me. I can't you. wait for everyone to see the new run. Thanks a lot. Thank, Thank you, you so much.